Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Nitin Singh. I'm an endodontist and operative dentist. We all do root canal treatment. While performing root canal treatment, we perform various kinds of steps like excess opening. We record working and also do shaping and cleaning of canal also. We do obturation also. However, there is one more step which we all know by name intracanal medicament we put in the canal. Basically, what is an intracanal medicament? When it is put, basically after shaping and cleaning of canal, when we find that the canals are not dry, that means the pus is continuously oozing in the canal. Paper points are always coming out to be wet. And when you find there is any intraoral or extraoral swelling, in those kinds of cases, after shaping and cleaning, we do not obturate. What do we put? We put intracanal medicament. And we have various intracanal medicaments available like calcium hydroxide, triple antibiotic paste, chlorohexidine gel, steroid based medicaments. However, among all, the most common and the most important is the calcium hydroxide. So today I will be discussing with you all calcium hydroxide. So calcium hydroxide as an intracanal medicament. So what is the is there inside calcium hydroxide which why we are using that as an intracanal medicament. So it has been found that when the calcium hydroxide comes in contact with the distilled water it releases calcium ion and the hydroxyl anion OH minus negative that means hydroxyl anion which is responsible for the microbial killing and this calcium hydroxide normally comes and it is very much used in the earlier days in the powder form like right now I have the powder form of this calcium hydroxide it consists of white color powder as well as Pre-mixed calcium hydroxide form that means calcium hydroxide which is already mixed this calcium hydroxide we need to mix with distilled water before putting in the canal whereas pre-mixed calcium hydroxide form that is already calcium hydroxide has been mixed with distilled water are also available so what is the advantage of this putting this thing in the canal becomes very very easy whereas putting this calcium hydroxide powder form is comparatively a bit cumbersome thing so now let's discuss in detail about this. Correct? So how to use this calcium hydroxide in the powder form? What we will do, we'll take a clean glass slab, then we'll shake the bottle of this calcium hydroxide like this. Now we're going to open it. So how to use this calcium hydroxide in the powder form? What we will do, we will take a clean glass slab, then we will shake the bottle of this calcium hydroxide like this. Now we are going to open it and we are going to take just a small scoop of calcium hydroxide like this. Fine. Then we will be dividing this into two parts. Now, as this is a powder form, we are going to mix it with distilled water. Now, one thing is very important. Many of the operators, what they do, they mix this calcium hydroxide with saline, which is absolutely contraindicated. Why? As we all have studied chemistry, there is left and right side of reaction. What it has been found that saline already contains many ions like sodium, potassium, chlorine, which restrict the release of this hydroxyl anion so if the hydroxyl anion is not released from this calcium hydroxide so calcium hydroxide will not able to work properly that is its microbial antimicrobial action so it is important it should be mixed with only and only distilled water so you are going to take just two or three drops of distilled water and now you are going to mix it the calcium hydroxide We can see and we have to convert it in the homogeneous smooth paste form right now it is a bit thick so 
just make it a bit loose and consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we are it. Now we can see calcium hydroxide is very well mixed in the paste form. Now the question arises: How to carry this? Normally, we all have read the books in which it is written we are we should be using lenturo spiral this is the lenturo spiral you can see the fluids are very very deep and this lenturo spiral is what hold it in a micro motor like this as it has less type less type of attachment you can see now what you are going to do now you have to carry this calcium hydroxide in this lenturo spiral like this Can you see? When we will switch on the button, what will happen? This lenturo spiral will going to revolve, and whole of this calcium hydroxide powder, which which is right now in the paste form, will going to spill on the canal walls. Now it is important that we will be going to on this micro motor only when this lenturo spiral this has been gone inside the canal. Why? For example, when we have loaded this and we just on it. Outside the mouth, what will happen because of centrifugal action? Whole of the this calcium hydroxide will be spilled in the room only. So, you, what are you going to do? Just carry this, put it in the canal, just two or three mm inside the canal, and then switch on the button and then push it further to the working. What will happen when it revolves because of centrifugal action? This calcium hydroxide will be going to uh, clearly coat the walls. However, According to newer research, it has been found that these lenturo spirals are very very susceptible to fracture. So right now, many of the operators they have stopped using this lenturo spiral, and what they are using our old, normally which we know, headstrom file. In a short, we call it H file. As H file has also quite deep grooves. What we can see? Can you see deep grooves? So, what we can do, we can take one size smaller than your master pickle file, the edge file, and adjust it to the working length. And then, what you are going to do? Now, just it is a bit dry, so I am again wetting it. Now, what you are going to do? Just take. You can you can see again you can carry this. Now hold it with the thumb and the index finger and put it in the canal. Ha, huh? how? Three sixty degree clockwise throughout. Just put it three sixty degree clockwise till the edge file reaches to the working length. And when the edge file has been gone to the full working length, then you are going to rotate three sixty degree anti clockwise. When you are putting the edge file, it should be clockwise. And when we are removing the edge file, it should be. Anti-clockwise. So just remove, move anti-clockwise and make it outside the canal. Again, just carry a bit more. Again, put it in a clockwise direction and remove it in a anti-clockwise direction. Like this, whole of the calcium hydroxide will be placed inside the canal. So either you can use lenturo spiral or you can use H5. Lenturo spiral is still considered to be the gold standard, but but because of the fear of fracture of the lenturo spirals, you can also use headstrom fine now this is the paste form which we have made the paste form now from the market only paste form uh, of calcium hydroxide is also available like i have two calcium hydroxide which are there in the paste form one from the pine dental other from the m dent now first let's see this calcium hydroxide what does it contain when we'll open it, we are getting a syringe, and in this syringe, what is there? White color paste is there. Basically, what does it contain? It is premixed form of calcium hydroxide. It consists of calcium hydroxide with distilled water. So we need not have to make this outside the glass lab. What we can do straight away with the help of this needle. Normally the needle is not at all attached. What we are going to do? We are going to attach the needle at the tip. And we are going to place the tip of the needle inside the canal. 
and just then just going on to on the plunger so what will happen this calcium hydroxide will be coming out can you see the white color paste coming out from the tip so this will be placed inside the canal now one more form of calcium hydroxide is also available and that form we all know that is calcium hydroxide which also contain iodoform please see carefully calcium hydroxide and iodoform and this salt combination is available from various companies like from the mdm we call it calpex from the meta company the same salt is known as metapex again metapex also all the companies are are just selling this product calcium hydroxide and iodoform combination under different brand names let's open this and see what is there inside right now you can see a syringe what does it contain a yellow color paste this is again calcium hydroxide only however one more and very important thing there is iodoform because of this iodoform the color of this paste is yellow in color so what is there there are disposable tips available with this too many tips are there which comes in this pack only what are you going to do just attach one of the tip in this fine this needle has a very uh, narrow size so it can go very well easily inside the canal and after the needle has gone inside you can just switch on and you can see now yellow color paste can you see yellow color paste this is also calcium hydroxide but because of iodoform it is right now yellow in color you can paste it inside the canal so the question arises when to use this combination with iodoform and when to use this your <clears throat> only and only plain calcium hydroxide so it has been seen that the duration of action and the antimicrobial efficacy of this combination that is your calcium hydroxide and iodoform is comparatively more than your plain calcium hydroxide so whenever you want to place the calcium hydroxide for a longer duration like 15 days 20 days or a month always prefer to use this iodoform combination however if you want to put it like for 3 days or a week you can safely go with this calcium hydroxide plain as it has a half life three half of 7 days so if you are leaving this inside the canal for 5 days it's absolutely fine and the very important thing these medicaments that is right now we are discussing about calcium hydroxide it never sets in the canal it will always be remaining in the paste form and when we are putting this medicament we should always be very much sure that the canal should be absolutely dry what we are going to do we are first going to dry the canal with the paper point and then we are going to place whatever calcium form of calcium hydroxide we want to put and after putting it inside the canal we are going to take an x ray your iopa and in that you will be checking that your calcium hydroxide should have gone to the full work now and after that just place temporary filling and leave the patient for a week or 10 days or 20 days depending on the condition and the type of calcium hydroxide you have used in the next appointment remove the temporary and how to remove this medicament use us sodium hypochlorite and your master pical file just put it twice or thrice inside the canal your master pical file irrigate the canal with your sodium hypochlorite 5.25% sodium hypochlorite all the medicament will come out as it will still in the paste form and then you can operate your canal with your cut up worker and see that fine so this is all about your calcium hydroxide and and I, again i'll be coming to you in my next class and in that i'll be discussing other type of intercanal medicament like triple antibiotic paste which is very well used and known to be a very good antimicrobial agent and used specifically in regenerative enantics so i'll be seeing you in my next class in the next video with triple antibiotic paste as an intercanal medicament i hope you have understood and learned about this calcium hydroxide and you'll be using in your clinical practice on your patients for any queries you can contact us on the number given below and uh, i'll be seeing you next time so take care bye bye